over it and let me start playing it here. I like you got the S arcs going in there with the hands. But I am here to give you a critique. So I shall do it. Let's start off with the first drawing, which is working fine. I might on this drawing right here. Oh God. So, sorry. Uh, should have gotten this set up earlier. Okay. All right. All right. This, uh, that's your level. This is my level. And on this one, comes in and it kicks we're going into a cycle here on this I think what I would do is have this kicking out more. Staying in place here, but starting the force right here on the heel. And then on this one, if, if you want to uh, keep it rubbery, that, that's fine, but on this one, I'd probably snap it. snap that leg back there. Held that for, okay, I see what you did. Snap the leg back there. And then on this one, I know you're on twos, but this is a, a fast action. I'd go like that, and then on this one, I'd, I'd put it on ones. And then on this one, this is really important. I, I call it the X, and what I mean by that is I'm going to cross it right there. I'm not just going to follow over here, but but cross it. And what that means is you got your preceding drawing under here and I'm making the leg and there's an X right there and what that does it gives it more snap into your animation and with this with the foot following that go there And this one, I would 
hold on one second please right here you got this coming in and now we can see the 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 previous drawings is onion skinned and it's working into this drawing I would start to it already snapped up you did the cross right there and then I'd start to just for texture and timing I even do a little what I call the X or the cross I even did that a little bit right there with it like everything else that you got going on there okay right there you can see that snap that I put in there now look at that in comparison to the other side if you if you see on mine it has a bit more snap as as this his left leg comes down kicks the heel so we got snap up there and on this one his left leg is a little bit more rubbery and not as much snap so I would use the drawings that I've you that I've shown you over here to get more of that that whip into it. Now, if you want more or less, um, you know that's up to you. But the main thing that gives it that snap is I will show you. Oh, I'm just gonna draw it right here sorry for fumbling I'm trying to get used to this but to show you as as an example let's say we just go come on baby I'm just gonna use this as an example sheet right here alright sorry for this I think I'll edit this after I'm done uh, anyway I want to show you what gives it that snap is Remember, we got this, this, and the and the foot is coming out there. And what gives it the snap is this. The X. You're going, you are breaking the joint, but quickly. And so you put that there for your next drawing, your uh, the following drawing. And then you got the leg there. And going from this drawing number one to this one number two that's what gives it the snap uh, and that's pretty much it on that all right all right there it is it's good and clean now um, I hope you're following me on this what you want to do is you want to repeat it as I have done with the leg with that cross and the snap of the foot you want to repeat that over here when he makes contact with his right foot onto the heel of his left foot you want to repeat what I just showed you there and that's as far as just trying to get more snap and whip in, into the leg now the other thing I was thinking about is I noticed that you do have you did draw this arc line which is right up here right there Okay, there's number one. There's your drawing for the arc. After I did.
do this. So anyway, here's your drawing number one. Okay. And there's your arc right there. Right here is where you put your arc in, which is fine. As we scroll through, the head seems goes on a very slight arc. What you want to do is, I will now come over there, and I will tra trace off your head, we'll just keep that one, and then I'm going to keep what you got here, except I'm going to move the cranium, the entire head, up a bit more. And with that, with this, am I on? Shit, no, I'm not. With this, bring the head up. I'm keeping the placement of your head basically right there. I just brought it up from this point up there a little bit more. And then as it proceeds. start to follow that that arc that we got there and then you can have it hanging there for a bit as this leg is coming down move it slightly And what this is doing is breaking up your 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 timing. Let's see the speed. Okay, I hope you can see this now. So with the head carrying it up a little bit more, let me shut this off. Turn it back on. It's downloading right now. And let me just keep going with this. Okay. And then on this one, here you You can see how much further up I'd put the head, and then on the preceding one, down. Come on, baby. You can see this is where you got yours, yours coming down. And then I would start to slow out with the head. Start. You can see where I'm bringing it down there. Start to slow out. You're fo following that arc. And there's your there's your head here. And now I'm going to work into to, to what you got there. Maybe I'll put a little bit of drag on that. And it's coming down. Let's see the speed. This one, edit. Okay, there we go. Okay, what I've done, basically, dude, is I, I've done, because it's a cycle, I've done half of it. You can see, first of all, how right in here, you're getting more snap and kick into it. And right up here, you can see your underdrawing with the arc that you were following. And it just, uh, you had drawn the arc, but you didn't, uh, you didn't, as you were rolling the drawings, you flattened out the arc. 
And I think what this does, it just gives you a little bit more variation by bringing the head up there a little bit. It's sort of like coming up and it's sort of just for a fraction of a second, but it's coming up and then, it, and then it's snapping down. Now, if you do that with all the preceding drawings, uh, I think you're just going to get a lot more kick into it. And also, uh, if I'm going to be really particular about it, you can do the same thing with the hands. So the hands are, are following through. And then you snapped up, which is fine with that. I'm just wait. Okay, and then you're using that S arc, which is fine. But on this particular drawing, right there, what you can do is you're you're coming down like so, which is fine. That's good. I want to make the density a little less. Okay. So you're coming down, and then once again, this is this is your arm right there so that that's your arm what you want to do is bring this a little bit more down here and remember the uh, when I was telling you about the X's or the crosses you want to follow through a little bit here but on this arm you'll cross it here right there that's your cross right in there and that should and you're coming down here and that should just make it where it will snap better on the arms also you can do it on both the arms Let's see the speed. Because I think what you do want there, I, I like that, that you're keeping it sort of condensed in there. Because it, it's, a, it's a good uh, difference between the legs, which are going really broad, and then you got your arms doing this which I I appreciate that I just feel like uh, you know to get a little bit more of the snap that X and cross that I keep talking about is really important for that you can see in the Richard Williams book he talks about it and uh, damn dude hoping to So overall, what we got here is all I did was change the head, the arc. I raised it up a little bit. Main thing I, I noticed was I made the legs a little less rubber hose, and uh, but I would I put more snap into it with the cross, with it going out beyond, and then it crosses that line like I've explained, and with the arms it's the same thing but just a little more subtle Bato, I hope that this all makes sense for you uh...